Hello everybody, I am Bratman19, we're playing some more Transport Fever, the airmail scandal, and we are on the third part of that mission, and we're just taking a look around at all of our guys that are, they're, they're running long lines, and I see that already. I mean, this area not having anybody picking up goods is obviously not a good thing to see. These guys as well, they're not, they're picking up coal, they're picking up very little though. It's like we've already got all their... You know, we've already milked them dry. Biggest thing is we need to make sure we have how much? I want to say 80. Yeah, we need if we have 80 when the first you know groups come through, we're going to be in good shape. He needs to start increasing his production. That'll be a big key for that to uh, work out in our favor. Let's see, what is he going? He's going after iron, so he had to go the long way. The good news though is that we're starting to produce some things. Look at that steel starting to show up. Machines will start, yeah, here's machines already starting to show up. So, yeah, we're starting to deliver some things. Fuel is already at 28. We do already own the Santa Barbara line. So, we got to just keep that fuel going. We got to keep everything through here. The machines, people, material, everything. Up oh, there's 10 people. Phoenix is going to be running a very profitable line, I feel like. Hopefully, we'll, yeah, they're running people up here to, uh, the Grand Canyon, I guess, is what this is supposed to be. He's making us like 4.25 thousand a little pass through. Okay, I'm actually going to say, hey, you're gonna. Let me see your line. He is the Little Stone Road. Let me see, where's Little Stone Road? I can't get it. There he is, okay. Upper Phoenix, you're gonna load. Uh, uh, I can't do it like the way I want to. I don't want him to keep like running back and forth if there's nothing there. But at least it's not very far if he does. We already have 44 built up. How much does he have on board? 40. So when he gets down here, he's gonna have plenty to give these guys to do work with. At least, well, for most of them, one path, one path through. Okay, we already have 90 people transported up here to the Grand Canyon. How much are we... I wonder how much we're getting for that run. Well, let's take a look. Uh, looks look at the line, the Grand Canyon route. We're making 115,000. That's not too bad. That's not very too shabby at all. Okay, these routes are should be starting to make money. There's steel already going. We've already delivered nine machines, 60 fuel, 90 people. Construction material is going to take a while to get there, but once it does, it'll start going up pretty quickly as well. It's really not a bad little situation we've got right now. We just need to keep our money coming in. Money is very important. We need as much as we can possibly get. We also need to start getting some landing permissions and such. I want to start running some planes around. This is the only landing strip we have, Santa Barbara. We have 13 machines delivered. Okay, where is the first line back with people for up there? Okay, there you go. That, that's going to get us Phoenix taken care of. And how's our fuel? We can see that soon, I think. Oh, we're starting to actually run the fuel out. I think this guy tried to... Yeah, he's trying to pick up like two or three at a time. He's made... That guy made 50,000 from his one run up and down. Okay. Yeah, we're about to... Our fuel's at 70. We'll probably end up increasing a lot of this, too. Just adding on little guys to try to get us more and more and more. Okay, that looks good. 
The first license is in the bag. Now we're ready to start our airmail operations. The Postmaster General is highly inclined to grant us further licenses. What the good man doesn't need to know, however, is that as the state pays us according to the weight we transport, all we need to do is send enough thick advertising brochures for our own company to every household. And the whole business will start paying dividends. Junk mail's never made anyone so happy. Okay then, so we need, we need to run four passenger lines between cities. So let's go ahead and take a look at an airfield that we own. Uh, is Los Angeles one? I can't tell. Doesn't seem to be. Oh, here's one we own. Okay. So we have two different ones here. Let's... Well, maybe not. I don't know how to run this. Ah, no. Well, we could upgrade the terminals if we wanted to. That's how we do that. Huh. You would think it'd be just like buying road vehicles, I guess, but I guess not. Hmm. Oh, there we go. And this hauls passengers and passengers. Uh, you can only haul one each, and there's no, there's a huge difference. So we're only gonna buy one because we only have. Oh, we have two actually. Uh, let's go ahead and buy two. Okay, your line, should you choose to take accept it, is going to be to run from here to. I guess Los Angeles is fine. Is it going to run that route or no? I guess not. Maybe. Okay, you'll run from there to Phoenix. Where's Phoenix at? There we go. So there that one goes, off to fly to Phoenix. And I think this is a, like a bad line, so we're going to remove that. We're going to add in... What do we've got? We've got San Diego. Yeah, we can run that one. Okay, let's see what else we can run. I want to run one to LA once that one becomes... or Las Vegas once that's become open. So I can run Phoenix, San Diego, I guess LA when it opens, and then one to Las Vegas, all from Santa Barbara. Could have ran it from Las Vegas, I guess, or Los Angeles when that gets ready, but eh, it's okay. Airmail is important. We can make money off of it, I guess. We might, let's go ahead and increase these. Upgrade, I want three terminals. Okay, apply it. Can I upgrade at ones I don't have access to? Yes, I can. Three there. Let's upgrade here to three. Let's come out here to Phoenix, which we're running out of. Let's upgrade it to three. And then let's run Las Vegas out to three. Okay, so now we've got three of those terminals. All set up. It says here, own the landing permissions for all airports. Make sure that at least 12 terminals are built. I think I just did that though. I set up three at each. It's like 15. Oh well. Maybe it has to be like guys that I own too or something. We'll figure it out. Okay, what's going on over here? They're still pumping out good money. Our money earned is at. What, 800,000 I think that is? We need 10 million? I'm not sure about that. Line set up. It only says I'll have one line set up. There's a line missing then. Alright, well we have 900,000 now. Okay, so it's like every month it'll update that. Huh. Oh wait, that's why it's probably not working. Uh, go to depot. And then I'm going to add you. 
You're going on to line one. Okay, that'll work. There's two lines set up. Okay, there we go. That that worked. We're making money. As long as we're making money, we're good. There's this guy flying off over here. Machines were at 74 of 100. Our steel is kind of building up, but I'm not too worried about that. Machines aren't building up at all. Our iron is building up. Our coal is not. Our food kind of building up, but not really. Not enough for me to care. Well, I could. I guess I could say, hey, let's send another 10 over there. How's our stone doing? Wow, we've collected a lot of stone. Can't tell if he's like taking away at that rock face or not. Now you have more than enough to carry now. Okay, he's now like about to collect it. All 100. Now he'll go take his own self down. We're at 7.65 million dollars in growing. Ford Model 77. Nah, we're not going to upgrade anything yet. Hmm, where could I get some good money at? Well, I guess really running more of these would be fine. Yeah, let's do that. Let's come down here. We're going to buy... One, two, three, four, five. Okay, we're going to put him on the... Let's see. What is this road called? Uh, don't see it. It should be a food road. There it is, Santa Barbara Food Road. Go collect us some more food to bring into the city. And we're about to get two more permissions at the same time. There he goes, make sure at least 12 terminals are built. That's groundskeeper for us. So we'll go ahead and build... We'll go ahead and get one more aircraft out of here. And he's going to... Looks like Los Angeles. Or Las Vegas. Going from there to Vegas. I'm not going to name these lines. It's better off just to keep them. They're only having one guy running on each of them. Okay, you're going to need. Right here, we're going to buy one more. Damn. Our airmail cartel has been busted, and the politicians are now looking for a scapegoat. Of course. We need to ensure that we emerge from this affair reasonably unscathed. If we don't slip the right people a few bills immediately, we can forget the landing permission for Los Angeles and any future licenses. Okay, so we need to go ahead and pay this up. Take away two million. All right. Well, that's all right. That's fine. We we just it's a little minor setback. We we're actually at about 4.5 million dollars earned. We need 10 million. So everybody can just go ahead out here, do their job, make us money. We have four or four lines set up. We are running our airmail around. I'm pretty sure that those guys are not making us money. They are not. Of course they're not. Okay. Looks like there's a little bit of a bottleneck out here, but they're they're working it through. Okay. Wonder why these guys are having such a hard time. I mean, I guess these guys are closer, so that makes sense that they'll run that one better. Dang, I just wish he would increase his production more. I mean, he's only got four out there right now. He's probably got like a hundred and something. 109. 
Gosh, that's ridiculous differences right there. Okay, the fuel. He's sitting at 200. He has nothing built up, but that's probably because he doesn't have anything to work with yet. All these guys are up here collecting the oil for him. That's a very well-run group in my opinion. Let's take a look here. I could probably add five to that one and five to this one and feel really good about that. So let's do that. Five on each. One, two, three, four, five. Add this to the east side oil road. Oh, whoops. Need to add five more to the other one. One, two, three, four, five. Set this one to the west side oil road. Go ahead and get out there before these guys try to jump out too quickly. Okay, they're starting here, I guess. Or some of them are. That's fine, they'll eventually work it out. We're at 8.1 8 million earned. We need another 1.9. And we need to keep our profits going. We're so close. And we're in 1931, so we have some time left. We have about 12 years. Well, really about 11 total. Okay, th that money could go up a little bit quicker. I would be really happy if it did. How's this thing looking? Well, there's quite a few people wanting to go to the Grand Canyon. Okay. I think we've got enough right now. Everything's slowly working their way. As long as it's working slowly, I don't mind it working. Hey, you're not making any money, I know you're not. Only one passenger. <laughs> That's so terrible! Okay, we're at 14 million, 9.7 million total, there we go. To make matters worse, the Postal Authority has also discovered the heavy sacks full of our junk mail. They have imposed a heavy fine upon us that we'll need to pay off first of all. As we're not currently liquid enough to pay the entire penalty in one go, we've been granted a grace period on part. It was a success! The former airmail pilot, Charles Lindbergh, has crossed the Atlantic nonstop. What a triumph! and the development of new aircraft models is rapidly advancing. This progress is opening up interesting areas of business for us. The Douglas Aircraft Company is making its latest model, the DC-3, available to us at a preferential price. Soon, transporting passengers by airplane will be more lucrative than a few bags of mail ever was. Okay, so we actually kind of got caught up in there. Pay, we have to pay a penalty. So three quarters of our assets have been confiscated as a down payment. The rest of this, of this record fine is due when we liquid enough to pay. So we actually have to pay a ton of money. Uh, looks like a total of, hold on, let me count the, th let me count the zeros here. One, two, three, 13.47 million dollars. We paid three, three, okay. So we paid four million of it off. We have three times more to go. At the same time, we also have to buy these DC-3s and transport 300 people. So we need to get to it now. I'm actually going to, let me look at my lines here. These things are not making us any money. They are costing it. So you're going to go back. You're going, oh, whoops, here we go. You're going to go back. We don't need these things costing us money. They're sitting in a garage. They will not cost us. There we go, and here you go. Now that we need to buy at least five, yeah, for each town. Can I afford it? Douglas DC threes costs 963. I don't have enough for five. I have enough for four. Two, three, four. The money is slipping through our fingers, people. We'll soon be bankrupt. But if we're prepared to grovel on our hands and knees, our financiers will grant us a bridge loan. Okay, um, actually, let's take out the loan, because that's going to give us $8 million. And then we'll set each of these guys up on their own route. Or, no, actually, let's set up a like this. New line. Let's go get you out of the way, get you out of the way, and get you out of the way. We're going to run from here to there. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, 
Remove. Remove. Okay. Adding the station. You're going from here to there to there to there to there. Okay. Four planes are going to do that, and we're going to hope to God we can keep we can get our money over the penalty cost. Let's see. Plane should have lifted off. There, yeah, there's one, two, three, four, I think. Hopefully there's enough passengers to warrant uh, transporting all these people. We'll have to see. I don't know where these planes are. Okay, where are you at? Oh, something didn't work right. Line five. Okay, I'm setting. I'm having to mainly set these guys on the line. Line five and line five. There we go. It's a 14-minute flight, I guess total, or to the next station. I don't know. Are they coming out? Maybe. Where is he even? No, he's acting weird. Come on, where are they at? Where is he at? Okay, here he goes. And he is taking off from LA. I guess I bought all these other guys at LA as well. Okay, they're picking up their passengers. So now they gotta do is just make it to each town, pick up the passengers there, and get going. I'm gonna have to get rid of these lines. Uh, delete that line, delete this line. Delete this line. Delete this line. Line 5 is the only air passenger line. We have something targeting. Las Vegas Construction Materials Plant. What's wrong with it? Does it have too much? No. Is it not receiving anything? I don't know. If it's not receiving anything, I can't do anything about that. This little guy is working as quick as he can. I mean, I may have to buy another ship at some point, but that's the best I could do. I think this guy up here can't run anymore. Yeah, that's exactly what's going on up here. Let's add one more. More freight. The Klondike. Stony Water Shipping. There it goes. Okay. Things are running. Unfortunately, this coal guy right here is not working. Alright, guys. I think we have gone over time here. So, I'm going to go ahead and end this one right here. We're desperately trying to get people. We're desperately trying to get the penalty paid. But once that's done, I think we'll be clear sailing. It's 1933, so we've got 10 years to do it. So, alright, guys. Appreciate you all so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.